what's good what's popping welcome to my channel if you're new if you're returning what's up um i y'all got my little wig on but i look a mess still mm, i'm downtown because i need to go get my blood drawn i decided to just go today um i woke up kind of late <clears throat> i woke up kind of late kind of i don't know Hopefully I can find like my normal parking. My normal parking. I feel like I always mess up. Actually, let me let me try to find that the where I normally park. I know this truck beside me is gonna try to race me, so I gotta be prepared. So I'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm really just waiting here. Um, it's like 8:30 though, so I might have to leave because I gotta go to work. And I think there's, there might be maybe four people ahead of me. I don't know. But this is taking a while, so. And I didn't bring my laptop. I'm sad. <laughs> I thought I was doing good on time, but I guess not. And then I just, I've been here for like, 15 minutes and they just sent me a like a email talking about oh okay, welcome thank you for scheduling your appointment at 8 30. i've been here since 8 15. So. <laughs> i don't know whatever we'll see we'll see what happens see everybody's here for last Okay, so I got my labs done. I'm in the elevator. I'm in the elevator. I'm about to run. Not run, but you know. Well, walk fast to my car because I got to get to work. And actually, and I'm a doctor. <clears throat> so I'm going to explain in the car why I had to get my labs again, because I don't know if I told you guys, like this is a, not a whole different reason, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all in the car. This is going so slow. Good morning. Good morning. No, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Okay, y'all, so I'm driving home. But no, so I had to get labs because um, I think I mentioned this in my last like little video, but I had to get my labs because um, like I'm trying to get into the bariatric program here in Atlanta at Emory um, and they need like my labs and things like that so fingers crossed I have all like all my paperwork and everything together um, and I can get into their little program because that would be great um, just because I feel like I need to My, my, my primary really wants me to get into the program just so I can continue, like, after a year so I can continue to maintain my weight and keep the weight off and things like that. So, that would be great. So, pray for me that I can get into this, um, the bariatric program, and they'll, they'll accept me um, and things like that because they'll be monitoring because, like... My surgeon and my surgeon in Tijuana, like he can, his team can like monitor my, my weight and things like that. But and like I can ask them questions. There's a nutritionist, um, but it's just like it's not the same because they have so many people that they service um, or that they've had, you know, done surgery on. That it's not like real personal. Like it's really more so like general knowledge like I literally some of the stuff that I feel like the nutritionist tells me I could have literally googled that 
like and I have googled it so it's just like it'll be a lot better if I can get um into the bariatric program down here so it would be like a little bit more personal and uh they can like look at my needs um just individually versus oh this is general knowledge like yeah <laughs> That's why I had to go get labs because this was like the last part of what I needed to get submitted over to the bariatric program. So fingers crossed I get in. Hey friends, what's up? What's good? What's popping? So it's like later on in the day. I'm actually on my way to get a wax. I have a wax appointment in literally like eight minutes and I'm like 20 minutes away because of the traffic. So Do you guys see a pattern here with me? I'm late to everything. Um, and that's not cool. It's not cool. But I have my wax appointment. This is my third wax appointment since having VSG. Honestly, there's no, like, real change. There's no real change in, like, how it feels to get waxed after VSG or anything. There's no real change with that. It's simple. I've been getting waxed for a long time, so... Now, as far as, like, how I, like, it's no, like, real, like, oh, it hurts less. No. Um, I feel like I can, like, maneuver around better while I'm getting a wax. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just feel, like, more, I feel lighter. I can definitely tell I've lost weight when I get a wax as far as, like, because, like, when they do the little butt strip, I normally have to, like, put my leg up like lay on my side and put my leg up and I feel like I can my leg just be like Doop. I'm like yes okay right. no, I was kidding but no it is much much easier to do that um but like as far as like pain or anything goes no it still feels the same and it's not painful to me really I've been like I said I've been getting waxed for a long time so once you get like consistently waxed you be good you be good you be good so i'm about to hurry up and try to make it to this appointment like i said i have about eight minutes before my appointment this person is looking at me but i have eight minutes before my appointment so we shall see if i make it and i'll either see you guys in there or after my wax appointment i'm gonna try i'm gonna try <laughs> okay friends so i did not vlog in there which i wish i would have vlogged in there because my wax lady she is literally like the sweetest person ever and she like made a comment about like my weight loss now she would honestly see the biggest weight loss or like be able to like tell that i've lost weight because you know when somebody sees you every day they're just like oh yeah you look the same or like when you see yourself every day you're like oh you look the same i'm talking about she done told the receptionist she done told all her friends and they're like look at some, she has an accent look at selena she she lost so much weight you know what i'm trying to say like she was like oh my gosh no she didn't like say it in front of everybody but to the receptionist i had went back to um like get undressed or whatever and she was like she was like yeah i told the receptionist like selena lost so much weight i'm so proud of her she was like i think she lost around like 50 or 60 pounds and i'm like yeah i lost 50 sorry i'm trying to get out of here i'm like yeah i lost 50 pounds she's like i can tell you look so good like stuff like that just like i i am losing weight like and it's weird i'm gonna i'm gonna make a video about this but about like you not being able to tell your weight see your weight loss um but i'm gonna make a whole video about that but like when people like comment about your actual weight loss and like she was just like so supportive because there's certain ways to do it not like oh you look better like this she was like very supportive like i'm so proud of you keep it up she she was like she was asking me questions like oh how much weight do you want to lose how much you know what i'm trying to say and it's just like i was blushing i'm like oh my god thank you thank you thank you thank you but she's like you know we had a conversation and she's i told her like oh i want to lose 
can you get over it? I'm like, oh, I want to lose 100 pounds or whatever. And she's like, yes, you're going to do it. I believe in you. You can do it. Like, she was very motivating. So I love going to see her. She gives me, like, she brings great energy. And I know I was talking all this. Oh, I thought that was a bug. That was a leaf. <laughs> I know I was talking all of this. I was talking a lot. I was talking a lot, talking about, oh, it doesn't hurt as much. Um, no, it hurt worse today. And I'm confused because normally I go and I'm not actually, am I a week before my period? I think it may be because I'm a week before my period, but normally it does not hurt this bad a week before my period. Normally, if I go like three days before my period, then it'll be hurt. It'll hurt. Um, a lot more but this time i was like what is going on and she's like oh you know maybe because you've i don't know i don't really know i don't i don't know but it did it did hurt it, it hurt more today i felt like but i just wanted to tell you guys that um you know what she said to me and like that's so sweet of her she's so nice i love my wax lady my esthetician thank you but yeah so i'm gonna end this little vlog out here um i'm not sure if i'm gonna go to another store or to a store or not i do need to find something to eat but i'm not sure if what i want to eat or do honestly so we will see we will see but i'm gonna end it here don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications on because you guys know i come with a video every single day and why would you want to miss it until next time bye friends Bitches and